Your next comic uh, is his first time here, so give him a warm smile, some hearty chuckles. It's Spencer Whipple. I want to start by uh, uh, telling you guys what I told my uh, date to senior prom. Um, this is my first time doing this, so if you start booing, that'd be really discouraging. <laughs> I've been thinking about that joke all week, and I love it because it's bullshit on every conceivable level, because I was definitely homeschooled, in case you were... <laughs> I love telling people I'm homeschooled because, you know, it's, it's one of those like rare moments where I, as like a straight white man, get to confront someone with a stereotype. Um, because they all have this image in their head that homeschoolers are like these like really weird people whose parents wouldn't let them go to regular school because the liberal government was going to send lasers into their head to make them, you know, homosexual atheists. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that I'm like that, it just means that all of my friends were. Um, and what it also means is that my mother is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Donna Whipple! I love my mom, my friends love my mom. I tried to convince her not to come here. Uh, but honestly, it's only helped uh, raise a, oh, uh, awareness of my comedy. Uh, I've had people cancel on me before because I wasn't going to bring my mom to something. Uh, <laughs> straight up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was always really weird for the homeschoolers. Um, you know, because I'm, you know, currently wearing a Canadian rock band t-shirt, and I'm a general hooligan, and they really didn't appreciate that about me. Um, but I was also really weird to, like, the rest of you normal people, because, you know, I was always talking about how cool my mom is. Um, <laughs> I think what was really weird for all parties involved is that I was always doing this, like, really dumb stuff. You know, like, like these really, like, weird things, like, like one day for Leif Erikson Day, I, uh, I dressed up as a Viking and walked around campus. That was a blast. Um, you know, one time I saw Pacific Rim 2 in theaters. Um, no one thought that would do anything good. Um, one time I took a bath with a couple Korean businessmen. Um, and of the three, I enjoyed that the most. Um, but I really enjoyed doing dumb stuff like that. And I think it's because there's this whole thought process in my mind where I, I, never, I never feel bad when it doesn't work out. Because you know how when you're about to do something dumb, there's that voice in the back of your head that's like, yeah, that's really dumb. Well, that's my vindication in the end, because if it doesn't work out, I was right all along. <laughs> The best part about being your own worst enemy is one of you always wins. <laughs> what really scares me is when I'm dumb and uh, I didn't see it coming. You know, like, like, it's really, like, oh, we were on the same page that time. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I, got, I have a favorite example of that. Um, when I was a freshman uh, here at college, um, uh, not high school. Uh, not that we kept count from school. Um, uh, I can't remember if it was Father's Day or his birthday or something, but I was buying a present uh, for my dad for whatever reason. So I was reaching around in the $5 uh, CD bin at Walmart. And, uh, I found Hot Bus by The Killers. Great album. You know, it's got a, yeah. Uh, it's got a, Mr. Brightside, all that, all those, all those songs that everyone loves. Um, and, but it was really for my dad, and I was, I was talking to this like this, this cute girl that I liked, which is really weird for me, because, yeah. And, <laughs> what was weird is she was talking back, um, and, and she wasn't my mom. And, <laughs> and I told her it was a great album uh, for my dad because it has this song on it called Andy. You're a star, and that's my dad's name. And she looks at me with this really puzzled face, and she goes, 
your dad's name is Star? <laughs> <laughs> we did for two years. Um, <laughs> and she recently dumped me. Um, I, I do have to... Uh, <laughs> We have to be careful what we say because she's here tonight. Um, <laughs> because she's such good friends with my mom. Um, thank you, that's my time, everyone.